Good evening everybody, it's the end of my day and it's time to go over the comments that you guys left throughout today on the, the vlog. This vlog that we're talking about is vlog number 2598, it's called Black Bear Encounter. Uh, it just got released this morning or this afternoon, there's quite a few comments on here already so let's go through a few of them. Let's pull them all up on here. <clears throat> First one's from Anthony Sleesman. Says, hey Josh, I fly planes for a living. Landed in Augusta, Maine at night with low visibility. After landing, I rolled about 500 feet and there was a moose right there. The moose and I both lost that night. The good news is you and I both walked away from our incidents and we can be thankful for that. I think your incident kind of tops my incident. My, mine was just a black bear who ran into the side of my truck and shredded himself up on my steps. Yours was a full on moose. I have hit a moose before, but again, just like this bear, it was just grazed. It took off one of my fenders. I have it on my channel actually, uh, not the actual hit, but the talking about it is called Stepped on a Snake and Hit a Moose from a long time ago when I was in the Freightliner Century. So yeah, those moose, those are big. Yikes. Do you say here how big, how big your plane was? It doesn't say how big your plane was. Was it like a big jet or a, a Cessna? Yikes. What was a moose doing on the runway at an airport? Crazy. Yikes. Next comment is JMH Crypto. I see your comments on here all the time, bud. Hey Josh, great video. I'm surprised you didn't have your camera running. Yeah, I don't have my camera running the whole time. It was dark out. And uh, these cameras don't pick up a lot of light. And when I upload them to YouTube, it uh, makes it even worse. Hence why I have this bright LED light shining in my eyes right now so that you guys can see me clearly. Uh, <clears throat> didn't have it running. It seems the most seems the most things you least expect happens when the camera is off. Yeah. Well, it's because my vlogs are only, what, 20 minutes long, 20, 30 minutes long, and there's 24 hours in a day. There's a lot of my life that's not on camera. A lot of this. You only get to see just a hair of it, just a smidgen. So, yeah, there's a lot. Happy to hear you went back to check the well-being of the bear. Yeah, I was worried because I, I knew he hit me. I didn't know how hard he would have hit me. I knew he would have been really hurt. I just didn't want him to suffer. I don't know what I would have done. I guess I would have had to call in uh, animal control to come put him down because uh, I don't carry my rifle with me uh, in the truck, but at least, yeah, I wanted to go and check. Oh yeah, he was done. He uh, he was ripped apart, shredded. He uh, It was instant, instant. So uh, this is good, at least he didn't suffer, right? <clears throat> this is a great video and look forward to your projects. YouTube likes YouTube shorts, one minute videos. Okay. Yeah, I've been trying out shorts too. I, I've been releasing all kinds of new footage onto my channel here, I'm trying to see what sticks. And uh, we'll see, it'll take a little while for people to get used to it. Some people don't watch every single video. I've been trying to explain it a lot, what's going on. But there's a lot of people who watch my channel who don't tune in every every single time. They're just sort of passively watching now and then. And they may not understand, like, why is this new stuff on here? And Hopefully they don't just unsubscribe. Hopefully they stick around and figure out what's actually going on. Because my regular content is still going to be here. All right, the, the content that you originally got here, my vlogs, that's my main content. That's always going to still be here. Okay, the next comment is Bullet Bikes. It's an unfortunate encounter anytime wildlife is involved in a road accident. But anyway, it's a good thing that there was barely any damage to Old Blue. Barely, he put in capital letters. Because <laughs> it was a bear. <laughs> also, I just finished watching your first silent trucker video. I think it's a pretty good idea. I love the ambience. Cool. Thanks, man. I know some people aren't going to like it at all. I, I don't know how it's going to swing. Even if some people like it, I'll just make it for the some people that do like it. It's just, uh, you know, I get a few comments here and there. It's like, oh, that's a garbage. I don't like it. Why do you even post this? Well, just because you don't like it doesn't mean someone else doesn't. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. My regular content is still going to be there just like normal. But, you know, I've been asked for this quite a bit. And the, the reception of it has been really good, actually. Like 99% of people have thought that it's, it's kind of interesting. It may not be for them, but you know, there's people out there that uh, just like to have the sounds in the background there. 
or just like to see what life is like without as many cuts and without me yapping over everything, right? We'll see how it goes. Well, there we go. It's a bit of extra work, but we'll see what happens. Thank you for that. Next comment is Joe. I don't know if I can pronounce your last name. Jean, Jean Cola? Gain Cola? Thank you for the daily vlogs. You do a great job keeping your videos positive and fun. I've mentioned to this, I mentioned this before to you. You're a great role model for my daughter, Ashley, as she watches every day with us at supper time. Joe! Joe, now I know which Joe this is. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't know how to pronounce your last name. I, uh, <laughs> you're from Winnipeg, I've met you a couple of times. Great guy, I'd like to meet you guys again sometime. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, I, I try to keep them positive and um, thank you for uh, the compliment. I try to be a good role model. I know I'm not perfect, but uh, I, I try to be careful what I post, be careful what I say, and I always try to leave everybody feeling a little more positive than when they clicked on the video. You know, a little more positive than before. Uh, I, I try, so thank you very much, Joe. Next comment is from Jeff Lee. Northern Ontario is beautiful. North Central, Northeast Minnesota is scenic too. It sounds like you're enjoying this chance, uh, this change of pace in travel too. I am really enjoying my position. Uh, really enjoying the truck, obviously. Really love this truck. Uh, it's been really good to me. And the position as well too. I'm, I'm very happy right now. It's, it's working out very good for me. Yeah, and uh, hopefully, hopefully this keeps up. David Kerr, again. Says, glad you're safe. Black bears can be a pretty good size and their weight and size can fool you. They'll be heavier than they look. So glad you and Old Blue are okay. Yeah, we got lucky. We got lucky. Had the bear decided to run across like a second sooner, he would have been right in my grill. And then who knows, I might have had to tow it back if he would have busted up my radiator and would have definitely messed up my bumper more. That would have been worse. So now it's no real damage to the truck. I had extra lug nut covers with, with me, so I lost three lug nut covers. That, that was it. I say I came out on top. Uh, I think I won that confrontation with the bear. Next comment, Jimbo Jones. Hey Josh, love your videos. If you do those vlogs with no talking, if possible, would it would it be possible to place some GoPros on top of Old Blue and on the trailer? Some different views of the trip. Keep up the awesome work. I'm gonna respond. Absolutely. Yes, I've definitely been thinking of that. Uh, I have lots of mounts with me. I just need to uh, figure out where I can place it. And I wanna make sure that it's secure on there so that I don't lose these cameras. Uh, this camera I'm holding right now is over $500. And I don't, I don't want it to fly off into traffic and get busted up. And I'd probably never find it again. And I'd be very sad. Another comment from Catherine Ken Kinnaird. Kinnaird, did I pronounce that right? I'm sorry if I didn't. North Dakota rocks, my son's home. I'm sorry to hear about the bear. Couldn't be helped, you did all that could be done. I'm glad you're okay. I like North Dakota too. They're good neighbors, they're good neighbors. Donald Dooley says, condolences for the bear and for you having the bear run into you. Thank you. Yeah, could have been a lot worse. Kimberly Shallaby says, what was the longer one, Kate? That was cutting it close, 17 seconds left. Did I say seconds? I meant to say 17 minutes left, but that's still pretty close, cutting it pretty close. That lake looked nice. Northern Ontario has just thousands and thousands of beautiful lakes. It's a beautiful place, lots of fishing. I thought my right headlight burnt out coming up over the river road one night. When we got around the bend, the road started to straighten out. That's when I saw my first black bear. He was a young, he was young, but not a cub. He went off into the woods on the left. I went home praying he wasn't there before me. All he had to do was go through the woods. I had to drive around the bend and up onto my road where we could have crossed paths again, but we didn't. A few months ago, there was a clinkety clankety sound on my back porch, like something brushed against my table. There was a bear paw print right at the edge off the porch by my post, by the post. I'm glad you made it, made sure it wasn't suffering. I feel for you, it's one of those things you can't avoid. Stay safe, they're so hard to see in the black of night. Yeah, it was like a shadow. 
I didn't even know if I saw something. It was just like, I was staring at the road and I saw something like <clears throat> right beside my truck, like a flicker, almost like a, a shadow of something. Like, what was that? It was sort of like my instant thought. I was like, what was that? And then I heard the thunk. Didn't even really feel it. I just, I heard it. Like, it was almost like, uh, oh. Well, the bear was literally torn up, so the poor guy uh, could barely feel it. So when I went back around, I was like, I, I knew it had to be some kind of wildlife. That's why I was scared it was a dog. Uh, you know, because if you've been watching my videos, obviously uh, uh, that would... <laughs> Not that I well, uh, not that bears are more important than dogs, but dogs are more important than bears. Did I say that right? Not that no, not that dogs are more important than bears, but dogs are more important than bears. <laughs> ah, it sucks either way. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't someone's dog. Because if it was someone's dog, maybe they had a collar on it, then I'd have to call the owners. And oh, I'd hate to make that phone call. I was dreading it because I had to go back a few miles, come back. I was, I was looking for it. I was like, if this was someone's dog, this is going to be a really bad night. This is going to be a really bad night. Uh, but you have to do it. You can't just leave them there, right? And the owners are going to be looking for them and they're going to wonder what happened. And you got to tell them. You got to be honest. So, uh, yeah, it ended up just being Black Bear. Well, what's next? Max Schenk says, Oh man, that sucks of hitting the bear. I see the look on your face is the same feeling I felt when I've had an animal r run out of nowhere right in front of my vehicle. Helpless and awful. Yeah. It absolutely does feel like it hit me. Yeah, but that does nothing to make me feel better about it. At least the bear didn't suffer and you had no big damage. Yeah. Mike Harris says, I've had my car for nine years and never noticed the small kilometers number in the in the speedometer. <laughs> and he says, it's better when you talk on the video, especially your diesel voice. Don't worry, like I said, these uh, my regular vlogs are still gonna be there. Uh, if you don't like the silent vlogs, you don't have to watch them, I wouldn't be offended at all. Uh, but uh, you can keep coming back for my regular content. And you like the dog's voices. Uh, there will be more dog vlogs in the future as well. There, there's going to be a, a playlist for that as well on my channel. Anyways, there's so many more comments on here. Thank you all for leaving all of these comments. I don't want this review to go on too long. Uh, but I appreciate all of the comments you left. Uh, tomorrow's vlog should be up uh, sometime during the day. Leave your comments on there and we'll go over them on another comment review tomorrow night. Take care everybody. Have a good night.